Welcome to this video on revision question three. So this is the third set of revision questions that have been given out. So this question was the 2017 paper. It was paper one, section B, um, and it was question seven. So we're going to look at part A to part E. So again, the rest of these parts um, are based on integration and differentiation methods, which you haven't covered yet. So we will be coming back to these. So for the moment, we're just going to start with A to E. So the question is, sometimes it is possible to predict future population in a city using a function. The population of Sapphire City over time can be predicted using the following function. So this is given as P of T um, is equal to S e to the power of 0 0.1 T by 10 to the power of 6. So the population in Avalon over time can be predicted using the following function. Q of t is equal to 3.9 e to the power of kt by 10 to the power of 6. In the function above, t is time in years. t is equal to 0 is the beginning of 2010 and both s and k are constants. Now, um, you may have seen a question very similar to this before um, from a mock paper and it didn't tell you that you had to let t equal 0 for a certain year. Um, so they've been very clear now in the actual exam that t is equal to zero um, in 2010. So the first question here then asks us, the population in Sapphire City at the beginning of 2010 is 1.1 million. So that's 1,100,000 uh, people. Find the value of s, knowing that s is a constant. So um, as they told us, 2010, this gives us t equals zero. So we take our function p of t is equal to s e to the power of 0 0.1. Now instead of t, we're going to sub in zero by 10 to the power of six. Now what we get here is s e to the power of zero by 10 to the power of six. Um, so just remember anything to the power of zero, including e, will go to one. So we get s by 10 to the power of six. Now it also told us the actual number for this. So this is 1.1 million. Okay, so to get S, it's going to be equal to 1,000, sorry, 1,100,000, and that's going to be divided by 10 to the power of 6. Um, and you can do that on the calculator, or you'll realize 10 to the power of 6 will be um, 6 zeros, so we'll end up with 1.1. So that is our value of s and that's really important because it's a constant we're going to need that um, for the rest of the question. So s is equal to 1.1. So part b then, find a predicted population in Sapphire City at the beginning of 2015. So 2015 so this is t is equal to 5. So if 2010 was t equals 0, uh, 2015 is t equals 5. So now we have a new formula, well, a slightly updated formula, which is instead of s, we're going to put in 1.1 e to the power of 0 0.1 t by 10 to the power of 6. So now we're going to sub in our value for t because we're doing p of 5. So it's e 0 0.1 by 5 by 10 to the power of 6. So then if we work out that first piece there, so we get 1.1 e to the power of 0 0.5 by 10 to the power of 6. And this piece here, 1.1 by that, will give me 1.813593 by 10 to the power of 6. And we're going to multiply that out. And that gives us 1,813,593. So then the next part, part C, find the predicted change. Now be really careful on this. This doesn't ask you to get a population. It gets the change. So find the predicted change in population during 2015. So we're trying to find the difference between the population in 2016 and the population in 2015. Now, there's two ways to do this. Given that we've worked with part B, 
um, and we know the population at the start of 2015, we can go ahead and get the population at the start of 2016 and simply subtract them. And that's the method I'm going to go with. Now, another method that you can use is to actually set this up as the 2016 population minus 2015 population um, and go back to the original functions. What you'll notice then is you can take out a lot that's common and you can work with this and um, because they're all by 10 to the power of 6, you'll be able to work with that quite easily. Um, I don't think any one method is easier than the other, but I do think that this probably is more intuitive that you've already worked out to 2015, so you would use what you've already worked out. So what we're going to get is the 2016, which is t equals 6, and we're going to get the population after 6 years. That's 1.1 e to the power of 0 0.1 times 6 by 10 to the power of 6, so that is 1.1 e to the power of 0 0.6 by 10 to the power of 6. Now, when you actually work all that out, we get 2,4330. Um, so we're going to take the population in 2016, which is 2,4330, and we're going to take away the 2015 population, so that was a start to 2015, so that was 1,813,593, and when we subtract the two of them, we end up with 190,737, and that was the change in population during 2015, because this population function gives us the population at the start of a year. So if we find it at the start of 2015, and then the start of 2016, which is effectively the end of 2015, we're able to get that change. So part D then is the predicted population in Avalon at the beginning of 2011 is 3,709,000. 1,795. Write down and solve an equation in K to show that K is equal to minus 0 0.05, correct to two decimal places. So up to now, we've been working with the population of uh, Sapphire City. So now we're working with the new, or sorry, with the second population formula. And that was QT that we were given. And the formula for QT is 3.9 e to the power of K by T by 10 to the power of 6. So what they're telling us is, in 2011, and go back here, so 2011, and that's telling us that t is equal to 1. So in 2011, we've been given the population. So we know 3,709,795 is equal to 3.9 e to the power of k times 1 by 10 to the power of 6. So cleaning that up a little bit, so our population here hasn't changed, and this will give us 3.9 e to the power of k by 10 to the power of 6. Okay, so all I want is this e here. So I'm going to divide both sides now. I'll do the right hand side first by 3.9 by 10 to the power of 6. 3.9 by 10 to the power of 6. So what I end up with is e to the power of k is equal to 3709795 all over 3.9 by 10 to the power of 6. Um, and you can put that into your calculator at this point if you like. However, I'm actually going to hold off putting it in a calculator for a minute because we want to get k and we have an e here. So what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to take the natural log of both sides to get rid of my e. So that ends up, the natural log of e will just give me k. So what we effectively end up with is k is equal to the natural log of 3709795. Oh, um, and if you want to do this out, this is 3,900,000. Okay, so um, you can, of course, do that bit in the red bracket here in the calculator rather than leaving it. The reason I've left it is to make it as accurate as possible. So um, putting that natural log of the fraction straight into the calculator 
will give us a slightly more accurate answer. It shouldn't make any difference, but it will just give us slightly more accurate. Um, and plus it means I don't have to write out a big long decimal. So we end up with negative 0 0.0499, but they want that rounded to two decimal places. So we're drawing our line here. The nine means the next one we're going to round up. So what I end up with here then is k is equal to minus 0 0.05, which is what we've already been told we should get. So this was probably a little bit more complicated because of the natural log and um, because of the numbers we were using. However, they did give you the answer. So even if you didn't get part D done out correctly, so if you couldn't get back to the minus 0 0.05, the next part, part E and the subsequent parts, they won't be affected because we have the answer. So the last part we're going to look at now is part E. So they said during the year, sorry, find the year during which the populations of both cities are equal. So what they're trying to get us to do is find where PT is equal to QT. Okay, so PT, remember, is 1.1 e to the power of 0.1t by 10 to the power of 6. And that we want to find when is it equal to 3.9 e to the power. Now, instead of k, we're putting in 0 0.05 times t by 10 to the power of 6. So we're trying to find the t when they're equal. Now, um, I'm going to divide both sides by the 10 to the power of 6. So these disappear. And I'm left at 1.1 e to the power of 0 0.1t is equal to 3.9 e to the power of minus 0.05t. Now, best thing to do in this case is get the e's over to one side. And um, because in the powers of e, we both they both contain that t. So we get e to the power of 0.1t divided by e to the power of minus 0.05t. And at the same time, we're going to divide the right hand side by 1.1. So we're basically getting all the numbers over to one side and the letters over to the left hand side then. So using our rules of indices, because these both have the same base, the same big number, which is E, we can subtract the powers. So we get 0.1t minus, and then we have a negative 0.05t, and that's all equal to 3.9 over 1.1. So if I'm subtracting a negative number, it ends up being positive, so I end up with 0.1t plus 0.05t and that will end up giving us a 0.15t so just be careful with that yes we're subtracting um because it was division however because we're subtracting a negative it ends up being positive so at this point then we want to get rid of the e so we're going to take the natural log of both sides so what we're left with then up here is 0.15t is equal to the natural log of 3.9 over 1.1 um, and when we work that out so we'll get t then is equal to whatever answer is here again you can work that out at this point if you like I'm going to leave it till the very last and then I'm going to divide that answer by 0.15 and what I'll get then is 8.44 years. So that isn't technically my answer because it didn't say how long. It asked me to find the year during which the populations of both cities are equal. So that is some time. So um, I suppose not even halfway, some time into 2018. Because remember, 2010 plus 8.44 years will give us 2018.44 but we were asked during which year so it's going to be during 2018 uh, both populations will be equal.